Hello, this time, we will create a simple projectile effect. First, let's create the projectile's head material. Create a material and open it. If you left-click the mouse while holding down the T on the keyboard, a texture sample node is created. After that, set the star texture to it like a video. And create a multiply and a particle color node. And connect the nodes as shown in the video. Then change the blend mode to additive, which takes the pixels of the material. The shading model is changed to a unit suitable for special effects, such as fire or luminous objects which output only the emissive. Then connect each multiply node to emissive color and opacity. Now let's create a glow material that moves along the head of the projectile. Copy the M underscore head you just created. After that, change the star texture to glow texture and save it. Finally, let's create a material for the tail part of the projectile. Copy the M underscore glow you just created. And change the texture to Tune Tail. And to get the effect of moving the tail horizontally, right-click the mouse and create a panner and put a value of 0.5 in X, which means the horizontal value. After that, to create a more dense tail, right-click and create a text coordinator and increase the X value to 2. Now to make the tip of the tail natural, create another texture sample node and apply a texture with a gradient value. After creating all the materials, create Niagara. First, add M underscore head to material in Sprite Render. And in order to directly set the generation of particles in emitter state, change the life cycle mode to self, and change the loop behavior to once to make the particles appear only once. Create a spawn burst instantaneous to specify the number of particles to be generated at one time. Since we need one particle, we will take the default value of one as it is. Now, to make the projectile move with velocity, create add velocity and enter 1000 as the X value. To make the head of the projectile rotate, create a sprite rotation rate and enter a number. And create a color and put the desired color. To accelerate the projectile as it moves, create an acceleration force and put 1000 in the X value. And create a colosseum and set the restitution value. The higher the restitution value, the higher the repulsion force. Generate a generate location event so that the rest of the particles can follow the head of the projectile. And in Properties, check Local Space and check Requires Persistent IDs to allow other emitters to search for the head emitter. Now to create the tail of the projectile, right-click and create an emitter again. In Emitter State, change the Live Cycle Mode to Self and delete Sprite Renderer from Render. Create Ribbon Renderer and put M underscore tail. And to follow the head emitter, press Plus Stage to create an event handler. And in Source, click on Head Emitter's Location Event. Then, enter the spawn number as one to follow one particle, and change the execution mode to spawn particles in event handler properties to follow the head. After that, create a receive location event to receive the location value of the head. Now, in initialize particle, change the ribbon width mode to direct set and input the desired thickness. Also, you could adjust the lag time as much as you want. To give the tail the same color as other particles, Right-click the head's color, copy, and paste it. Lastly, right-click and create another emitter after right-clicking to create the glow effect of the projectile. In the sprite renderer, add M underscore glow to the material. And in emitter state, change the live cycle mode to self and set the live time to be short. After that, to give the particle size random, change the sprite size mode to random uniform and input the desired value. To make the glow particles get smaller as time goes by, create a scale sprite size and change the graph as follows. And to follow the head emitter, the settings are the same as for tail emitters except for the number of spawns.
Now create a color and put the desired color. Lastly, in order for glow particles to be generated in a wide range, create a shape location and input the radius value as desired. Now, to create a hit particle that appears when the projectile collides, create an emit. Add a glow material to the material and change the life cycle mode to self. Enter the lifetime mode as much as you want as before. In order for the particle to have a randomly elongated shape, change the sprite size mode to random non-uniform and input as many values as you want. And when the head emitter disappears, press plus stage to create an event handler so that hit particles appear and generate a generate death event in the head emitter. And the source of event handler in the hit emitter, press death event of the head emitter and change it to spawn particles and enter the spawn number as much as you want. After that, create a receive death event to receive the position value when the head emitter disappears. Now in the sprite renderer, change the alignment to velocity aligned, which takes a velocity vector. And to make the particles extend in all directions, create add velocity, click fix issue in the warning window first, and change the velocity mode to in corn. Then enter as many speed and angle values as you want. And to have friction, create drag and input as many values as you want. The higher the drag value, the higher the friction force. Now specify the color. And finally, create a scale sprite size and change the graph as in the video, so that they gradually get smaller. Now, if you put the created Niagara on the map, you can see that a simple projectile is completed.